Starting our today's video with the name of Allah, who is the most beneficent, the most merciful. With a little food for thought, behind every successful person, there are a lot of unsuccessful years. It's not necessary that you get success as soon as you have started doing efforts. You could be unsuccessful for years. You might face failures for a lot of time. And then finally, if you are being persistent, if you are being determined to succeed, you will finally be a successful person. Never lose hope. Never stop doing efforts. Be persistent in whatever you are doing. Be determined. I'm your teacher Mehba Nasser and today we are going to talk about input and output devices. In today's lesson, uh, the first input device that we are going to talk about is microphone. Microphone also called mics is an input device and the input in the form of audio can be entered into the computer using microphones. With a microphone, we can enter sounds in our multimedia presentations or talk to our friends on the internet. Whenever we have to give instructions to the computer uh, in the form of audio, then we must use microphones. We cannot just stand in front of the computer and say, hey computer, uh, play this song for me or something like that. We must use a microphone that is connected to that computer so that the computer can interpret what we are saying and what it has to do, what function it has to perform. Then comes graphics tablets. A graphics tablet is an input device that enables a user to draw images or graphics on computer. Freehand drawing. Uh, these tablets are often used to get handwritten signatures. If you want to get an, a handwritten signature on any official letter or something, then you will be using graphics tablet. And uh, these can also be used to trace an image from paper. As I just said, that if you have to trace an image just like on paper, you will, uh, and you want it to be computerized, then you will use graphics tablet and whatever you will be drawing on the graphics table will automatically convert uh, into a computerized image on your computer screen. Stylus. Now stylus kya hai? What is stylus? Stylus is an input device that is used to draw on graphics tablet or touchscreen input devices. There are many touchscreen input devices. We have tablets, we have iPads, uh, we have uh, touchscreen laptops also, we have uh, smartphones uh, who have touchscreens. So stylus is the input device that is used to draw or to give input on touchscreen input devices or graphics tablets. Some smartphones also require stylus for accurate input. If you want to give accurate input, uh, some smartphones also uh, require stylus for that because if you're only using uh, your thumb impressions or your fingers, it might not be, it might not give accurate results. Stylus is just like a pen, but it is a computerized pen and it has a specific tip which is uh by using which you can uh, point out or give the accurate commands to our computer now comes joystick joystick is also an input device which controls the movement of cursor on the screen just like mouse don't get confused kicker movement of the cursor was controlled by mouse only no joystick is an input device which also controls the movement of cursor on the screen. It is just like a handheld device that can be moved in all directions. You can move this handle of joystick in all the 360 degrees directions. It is mostly used 
while playing video games video games are the most common use of joysticks but it's not that a joystick is only used for playing video games more uses of joysticks are sometimes joysticks are also used in cad computer aided designs or to control machines like cranes trucks and remotely operated vehicles you can see uh, this is a toy remote controlled car it also has joysticks two joysticks one for moving in forward and backward direction the other one is for moving left and right direction some joysticks might have only one which are able to move in all the four directions just like this one then we have cranes which are used to lift heavy weights they also use uh, joysticks as input device to direct our machinery what they have to do then aeroplanes basically joysticks when we talk about joy the history of joysticks they were made uh, to guide the aeroplanes this is actually right uh, in front of you is the screen uh, is the uh, joystick or the uh, picture the controller of a cockpit of uh, an aeroplane right so to move our aeroplane in different directions for takeoff for landing all the functions are performed by using this joystick type handle it's not ki joystick ki uh, joysticks have a specific shape if you search on the internet you might find many different shapes but the function of them remains the same so today in input and output devices we are talking about input device and in our today's lesson we talked about microphones graphics tablet stylus and then joysticks thank you so much for your task uh, for your time and good luck we'll meet again in our next video allah hafiz